So the commentator's gold cup is next up in the second of the two races we at Warwick and we've got a big field for this one. Let's take a look at the card. It's a 0 to 75 class 6 for three odds and upwards over 10 furlongs and whist sugars and fantastical both for Steve C are the top weights. Roaring 40s for Martin Leedham, Alden and Ruby Swirl, Alex Cherry, the middleman, Graham Clutterbuck, Venom, Michael Scala, Ryu Memorium, Daniel French, top 10, Obi Wan, Cloth of Silk, Daniel French, Lady Japan, CDJ Liggett, Tamarillo Fires, Rod McClure, Whitechapel Town, Martin Leedham and Cajole for Neil Mack. So 14 then in this 10 furlongs the trip and away they go and looks like the Daniel French pair were out quickly so too was Lady in Japan right over on the far side but it's Fantastical who's got the rail and has got the early lead so Fantastical then joined immediately by top 10 for Obi-Wan so those two are going to have a battle for the lead Whitechapel Town is up there in third and then Roaring Forties is in fourth after that one is Ruby Swirl then Tamarillo Fires and Cloth of Silk then Wish Sugars looking towards the back Lady Japan is actually now the back mark of the grey closest to us is Kajol but it's top 10 who's in the lead by three quarters of a length to Fantastical in second and four length gap back to Whitechapel Town in third and then Cloth of Silk and Ruby Swirl then comes Roaring Forties and Wish Sugars Tamarillo Fires is the grey on the rail is going to need a little bit of luck in running the middle man's after that one then Venom and Alden Cajole and Royal Memorial and finally Lady Japan is the back mark of a CDJ Liggett but it's top 10 who's in the lead from Fantastical in second gap of a couple of lengths then back to Ruby Swirl who's gone third Cloth of Silk going well on the outside is next then comes Wish Sugars who's dropped back a little bit also lost its place there is um, Whitechapel Town and something wrong with the Roaring Forties Roaring Forties has been pulled up at the back so the local horse is out of the race and top 10's in the lead top 10 is in front from Cloth of Silk in second Fantastical is in in third Whitechapel Town is trying to come round the outside with Sugars and Ruby Swirl then Tamarillo Fires and Venom and the middleman's after that one but it's top 10 who's in the lead three furlongs to go top 10 from Cloth of Silk in second the great Tamarillo Fires is next with Sugars is going really well bursting through them is middleman but then after that one is um, Ruby Swirl Lady Japan is making good ground as well but it's still top 10 in the lead then furlong and a half to go top 10 in front but only by a length to the middleman and Cloth of Silk then comes Tamarillo Tamarillo fires in the grey. Also trying to get through Ruby Swirl. Venom is there with a chance as well now. But it's still top 10 in the lead. Top 10 inside the final half. Well off from the middle man and Cloth of Silk. Top 10's in front. Cloth of Silk is flying. Cloth of Silk's in the lead. Lady in Japan's coming through but Cloth of Silk takes it. It's a, a bunch finish for the minor placings but it was an exciting race with lots of change in the final furlong or so. They finished in a bit of a heap but Cloth of Silk come through to take it the middle man on for second and Lady Japan who was right out the back ended up third so pretty good looking run from that one so Cloth of Silk takes it for Daniel French the middle man for Graham Clutterbuck second Lady Japan CDJ Lee it was third top ten the long time leader for Obi-Wan fourth and Royal Memoriam for Daniel French ran on into fifth <laughs>